like that viewer? Oh, good, good. Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, we'll give our praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, to a beast like creature or, or an animal, whatever the case may be. You know? so, so we're going to touch on it and because the Heavenly Father is the, uh, uh, the creator of all things, man. Okay? And we are his cre uh, creation. He created us. He's our power, man. You know? This, this is Genesis. Let's start with Genesis 1. This is Genesis 1, chapter 20. Let me select it. Genesis uh, chapter 1, verse 20. And the Most High said, Let the water bring forth the, abundantly the moving creatures that have life. So all things that have life, every creature that has life came from what? Came from, came from, from the waters. Go ahead. And fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. That's right. So even the fowls that, 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 that fly in the firmament, man. All things came and derived from the ground. All things came and derived out, out of the water, man. Go ahead. And the Most High created great whales and every living creature that moved it, which the waters brought forth abundantly. Because people's perception of the Bible in, in the beginning times of Genesis were Adam and Eve were the first two people that were created. But that's not the case because it says that all living creatures, all things that have movement, all things that have motion were created, man, at that time. Go ahead. This is Genesis 5 and 1. This is the book of the generations of Adam in the day that the Elohim created man. So that's the, and during the time that the powers, okay, created man. Go ahead. The likeness of the most, so like the likeness of Elohim made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. Because because that people during that time were known as the Adamites, man. It wasn't just solo Adam and Eve walking along in the, in the Garden of Eden, pick, picking and plucking fruit from trees and just, just chilling living their life. No, during that time, the Heavenly Father had already created our people, man. You know? But then you jump forth into the book of uh, uh, the 10th chapter, in the same same book of Genesis, that's when he began to divide the nations. Okay? But it, but, but, that whole concept of or, 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 or way of thinking that Adam and Eve were the first and only two people created upon planet Earth, that's not true, man. Right? Go ahead. After their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind, and the Most High saw that it was good. That's right, and because at the bottom of the sea, at the bottom of the ocean, right, because people sprang forth from, from the waters, what is at the depth of, that, of, of those waters, man? It has a bottom. It, it, it just never ended flow of water. The, the, uh, they call it the seabed. At the bottom of the seabed, you have dirt. Okay? The same way you have upon earth, man. So to him, the father, the fowls of the air that came forth of the waters, they had their dwelling, which is the airspace. The fowls, uh, 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 the fowl like, uh, I mean, it's like the animals, the, 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 the whales and the fishes, they abide and reside in in that water that they came forth from. The people that the Heavenly Father created were to do what created to abide upon land, okay? So the Lord separated each particular uh, uh, creature, right? And placed them in the appropriate location. And the Most High said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping things and beasts of the earth after his kind. And that's covering everything. He's covering the fowls. He's covering the sea, uh, the sea animals. He's covering the cattle. And those creepy things are the insects and the bugs, man. Uh -huh. So so, so it's giving you, it, it, it's breaking it down to you, man. Uh -huh. I read down to verse 24. That was it? That was it. Okay, can I jump to uh, 22 and 19? This is Genesis chapter 2, verse 19. And out of the ground, the most high power formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. That's right. And so now it's just going, it, it, it's, it, it's just fully covering the, the, the beginning of creation because this is something basic of people have a misconstrued mindset as far as creation is concerned, man. You know? And because where, where do all these things come from that we see? The scriptures has already explained that everything with motion, every creature with motion on Heavenly Father, I mean, so like the Heavenly Father created them, man. 
it brought them, it, it allowed them to spring forth from the waters. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And that's what, and people don't believe you so-called atheists and non non God believers out there don't believe that, that was possible. The same way they don't believe that Noah was able to have those animals upon the ark, man. Hey, the scriptures say that my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither my ways your ways. You want to try to understand the heavenly father with your little mind. But he's the the, the, the person that, that gave you wisdom. He gave you, you know what I'm saying, the, the, that, that thing in your head you call the brain. He created all understanding, man. And he did not give it unto to people upon planet Earth. He didn't give you the complete understanding of everything. If that was the case, we'd know where he came from. Does God have hey, does God have a God? Does God have a father? You know? This is Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Who changed the truth of the most high into a lie? So who changed the truth of the most high into a lie? Go ahead. And worship and serve and worship and serve creatures more than the creator. Because he commanded, right? He commanded us to worship and serve him. Have no other God before him. But people decided to worship the creator uh, the, uh, the creature more than the creator, man. Right? And that's the same predicament that we live in today's time. Whether it's an idol, whether it's man-made, whether it's an animal, whether it's people upon planet Earth, they idolize the, cre uh, the, uh, the creations. Right? They, they idolize the creations of the Heavenly Father, man. Who is blessed be who is blessed forever. Amen. And this is uh, Romans 8, verse, uh, verse 19. For the earnest exceptions of the creature waiting for the manifestation of the Son of the Most High. Come on. Come on. Hey, jump back to 1 and 25. They linked up with them. This is Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Who changed, <clears throat> who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie and worship the serve, worship and serve the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed before ever. Amen. That's right, man. All right. Hey, well, yeah, hey, this was just a little a tip. Bit. This is uh, Genesis 1 and 24, right? For living uh, creature, uh, in the Hebrew, Strong's H 53, 15, pronounced as, Napash, Napash, and it means soul, self, creature, person. That's right. You know, if you're not mistaken, that word Napash, that goes, that's the Hebrew word for soul. Mm -hmm. You know, and because there's a, a difference between your soul and your spirit, you know what I'm saying? Hey, so, so, and it also goes into that breath of life. And because now you're a, 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 a living creation, man. Mm -hmm. You know? All right, go ahead. Hey, give me a. Uh, Mark 16, 15. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. He's a new creature. Mm -hmm. Reference the fact that the creature, right, when the scriptures reference in certain points, that that creature is going back into, into people, man. Right. right? And specifically, that new creature, because only the Israelites can be transformed back to the uh, back to their power. Okay? But becoming a new creature is doing away with that old man. This is Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. So if you put off your old ways and transform your mind and your spirit to return to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you are considered a new creature. Go ahead. Old things are passed away. So that old man is done away with. Behold. Behold. That individual that you were before, okay, you're no longer that individual, man. Because now you're walking and abiding in the ways and the words of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. Behold, all things are become new. All things have become new because and it, that reminds me uh, in the book of Ezekiel. Okay? When, when you were to take and consume in this roll, it was sweet in your mouth, but then it, it eventually became bitter in your belly. That's going into that all things are, are become new because now it's new, it's thrilling and exciting. You find out who you are. You find, find out whom the Lord created you to be. You find out whom Yahweh Shah died for. You're finding out that the Most High has a particular elect out there that, 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 that have been chosen since the foundation of the earth. You know, you find out that you actually are abiding in something that you have the potential to be saved for, for your works and your labors, man. Mm -hmm. So all things are new. Go ahead. That was it. Hey, this is Mark 16 and 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So preaching the gospel to every creature. So, so are we prophesying to the birds? Are we prophesying to the squirrels and 
rabbits out there? No, because that creature is talking about the people, man. Mm. All right, so so we're prophesying pretty much unto everybody because we're giving judgment unto the nations. We're giving judgment to the two thirds of Israel, and the and, and, and the secret message of Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shai, his elect are hearing, man. Right? Hey, because because the majority of the people outside of the elect, the Mosai's elect, and the friends of the prophets, they don't have that understanding, man, to be able to to even turn towards him. Because, because his back is still upon the world, man. But he's displaying his face being shown toward us through his words, man. You know? Well, verse 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And that's not talking about an actual physical baptism. That's not what it's going into, man. Because you have to be baptized in the spirit. You have to be cleansed in the spirit and in your mind, man. You know, so you have to, to, to erase these so-called emotions that you have in your heart. Which is nothing but that old man that is inside of you, man, that is still corruptible. But he that believeth not shall be like But he that believeth not shall be damned. But he that believeth not shall be condemned, man. Condemned unto what? To the outer limits of hell. You know what I'm saying? And hell is the grave. So don't get simple. Because people believe, hey, that goes back into uh, uh, the topic a little bit as well. Because we're still talking about the, the beginning. They're talking about the foundations of things. People's foundations of the beginning is uh, deterred and construed. People's uh, uh, mentality and understanding of, of death and, and the terminology of hell, that's misconstrued as well, man. You know? So you're going to be condemned, condemned unto what? Unto those plagues, right? And you read in the book of Revelation, when, uh, I think it's the last chapter, when it says, If any man shall add unto it, he shall receive of the plagues. Hey, you got something? Go ahead. And it's Romans 8 and 36. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any creature, or nor any other creature should be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in Yahweh Shai, our Lord. That's right. Hey, hey, so nothing but planet Earth can separate, can separate the, the Heavenly Father's elect, man. No creation upon planet Earth can come in between that bond that the Heavenly Father has established since the beginning and foundation of the Earth, man. Because every every individual that, that he's chosen, he's chosen them for life. He's chosen them for salvation. He's uh, chosen them for redemption. No matter what manner of walk of life, no matter what past historical acts that they have committed, no matter whatever has been done, because they are still considered white and pure in the eyes of the Hawashim and Hawashai and the holy angels, man. Revelation 22 and 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And that's condemnation. Okay, go ahead. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life. That's right. And out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. That's right, and so you're gonna receive those bad things that are inside of here. Because this book is, uh, pursuant to the scriptures in, in the book of Lamentation, it says that it's full of lamentation, mourning, and woes, man. You know, hey, but but it's blessings unto the Most High's elect because the kingdom, the kingdom of Yahweh Shemal Shai is coming. Okay, for the, for, for the entire and complete nation of Israel, which is the 12 tribes, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanic, and the Native American Indians, there's a kingdom coming for that group of people, man. And there are servants that are going to be inside of that kingdom as well. The so-called white man, the so-called Chinese man, so-called Arab man, so-called Japanese man, okay? So-called Arab man. Who am I forgetting? Anybody outside of the 12 tribes of Israel, you know, you so-called East Indians, you know, they're going into slavery, man. All nations, all nations outside of the nation of Israel were created to serve the nation of Israel. See, people don't understand why the Negro is looking as pitiful and horrible as he does throughout Earth, man. People don't understand why the so-called Native American man drinks himself to death on those reservations. People don't understand why the Latino and Hispanic live in those horrible barrios, live in the ghettos of those beautiful places, okay, that everybody like to vacate to. It's because of the curses, man. It's because 
and it's because we sinned against our God. We sinned against our power. He said, do this, do that, and I shall bless thee. Don't do this and get involved in that, then I shall curse thee. That's why we have no heritage. T t t tell me our history prior to America. Okay, oh, you're African, you're from Africa. Tell us our history prior to Africa. And see how far your, your scholar, scholarly intellect allows you to go. You're not gonna be able to figure it out, okay? Hey, but but it says that our spirit bear witness that we are the children of God. That's what the scripture says. We have to understand this because it is revealed. It says, it, says, it says that the Heavenly Father revealed his secrets unto his prophets, his, uh, the servants, man. All right? So so so, so the, to understand that it's not given unto everybody. That's why the, the, the majority of, of prophesying is condemnation, right? Going right back into people being damned, be, being condemned. So you're condemned, man, you know? And, and, and adding unto the book, and going back to the book of Revelation, adding unto this book, removing things from this book, the prophets are giving you the complete unadulterated truth. No preservatives, no additives, no GMOs, nothing genetically modified over here from the doctrine, man, you know? And the majority of the hate that we have is because we speak the truth. The scriptures talk about how darkness hated the light, and how and and, and, and how wicked and evil doers hate that the, those things which are good. And we're prophesying good tidings, man. And because we don't have any ill will in our heart, we don't get any financial gain, we don't get any fame. If anything, we catch pretty hell because because we're outcasts, man. The scriptures say that, that, that if they count it strange or think it's strange that ye walk not in the same excess of pride, okay? So people look at us as, as weirdos because we don't do the things that they do. We're not getting candy, uh, uh, snow cones tattooed on our faces, teardrops on the other side of the lower eye, you know? We're not, you know what I'm saying, out here doing drugs. We're not out here stealing from people. We're not out here sleeping with other other men's women, you know, purposely scheming on people. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna kid her. You know, we don't. Hey, that's not what we're into. We we condemn those acts, man. We condemn the acts of the so-called white man. Even this system right here. Like you made a, uh, a prophet came prophesied against Fema. You know, we even talk about the acts of the so-called white man. All of his injustices, man, that he commit primarily against our people. You know. And he's not held accountable. And he himself holds himself not uh, not guilty, man. You know, go ahead. This is Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets have been before me and before the old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's what we're prophesying against. And because this is a great co country. This is a great kingdom. It's on a downward spiral, but this still... The the the, the 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 terminology of the great U.S. of A. still puts America in the forefront. America in the forefront, and also uh, an inkling of terror or fear in the eyes of or the ears of other nations, man. You know, now they have the power structure now and the military capabilities to 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 combat and go both blow around for round with this with this uh, with this system, you know. But, but like, like, like I was saying, it's on a downward spiral because the, the Heavenly Father is doing a transition of power. When you look at the time from the 1600s to where this nation was built upon purely slavery, and then it started transitioning, so-called black people were free, allegedly, and then and then they were able to have businesses, have jobs. You see what happened to that, though? It was that Black Wall Street, you know? And then you had the Civil Rights era where they were fighting for equality. But once upon a time, the so-called white man was your master and your lord. But now you're fighting for equal rights, you know? You walk by the so-called white man during the, during the so-called civil rights movement, you had to walk down with your head down, you know? But, but prior to that, you were not e even able to walk freely. So after that civil rights movement, you have what we consider today as equal, what they call it equal, equal opportunity, you know what I'm saying? So now you have e so-called equal opportunity rights. And that's right before your eyes, a transition of power. But people take that and say, hey, don't you think th things are getting better between blacks and whites? That's not the case. That's not even, hey, that's not even important. Because th that whole black and white thing, the so-called white man created that, cr and created that and gave it to us. We use that terminology. We we process that way of thinking and utilize it in our day-to-day -day life, man. But now the Heavenly Father has his elect set aside and 
and, and, and they're putting a distinct difference between that black and white because it's not, it was never about that. It's about the 12 tribes of Israel. It's about Jacob and Esau, you know? So that terminology of oh, those black Hebrews and like these radical groups, different things of that nature. Hey, some of our, bro our brothers have the characteristics of the so-called white men. So, so what do you have to say about that? Because color, hey, the color, the, the, the color thing, uh, uh, scheme of things does not matter. The Heavenly Father is not he that looketh upon the outer appearance of man. He judges the inner parts. He tries the reins of the heart. Yeah, come on. This is Colossians chapter 1, verse 23. If ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under the heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. That's right. And so this, uh, this, this, this ministering of this message is preached unto every creature, man, unto heaven, man. And, and that's why um, the scriptures say that the Heavenly Father's word does not go out void or in vain, man. And because it's going to establish that which he had already set forth, you know? So that's what we're doing. We're preaching and prophesying to the... Uh, the, the, the creation, right, of, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Okay? Give me a uh, Romans chapter uh, eight. Chapter eight. Right, verse 20. I think we read it earlier. Romans eight, uh, verse 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of the most high. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope. So that, cre uh, that creature was made subject to vanity. So, so that creature was made subject to vain things, man. He was created to go off. He was cre uh, created to fall victim. He was created to, to, to have to disciple between good and evil. Hey, and ultimately, the, 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 there were natural and premeditated stumbling blocks set before this. Like they said before. Before this creature, man, that creature, hey, and, and that creature being Israel, man, you know, and because the, the, the whole the, the whole point of the subject matter is is that terminology of creature references the creations of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and then certain terminology of that of that creature is going into the the uh, 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 Israel, the nation of Israel, man. All right, and it says because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption. Into the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High, and because in an inkling that twinkling of the eye, we shall be what? We shall be changed, man. And because because now, right now, we live in a bondage of corruption because we're in these chains of darkness, man. We constantly go off. If you're not going off physically, you're going off in your head. If you're not going off in your head. You're going off with your murmurings. If you're not going off with your murmur murmurings, hey, goddamn, you commit something, a, a something that is on the contrary of, of, of what the scriptures say, man. Constantly. Hey, because because we better battle not against flesh and blood, but principalities, man. And and those principalities are, are, are those unforeseen things, man. This is Second Corinthians chapter five, verse seventeen. Therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Let me read again. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. And all things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Cut, cut. And in Revelation 5, 6 and 15. Okay. This is Colossians 1 and 15. Who is the image of the invisible power? The firstborn of every creature. Hey, Yahweh Shah, man. They say everything was created by Yahweh Shah due to the instructions he received from the Most High, man. Alright, so without Yahweh Shah and those elect angels, we wouldn't have what we wouldn't have what we see today. Man. Going into the eldest topic that hey, people are creatures, man. Alright, so per se you have like the Israelites. They're known as creatures as well as these other nations, man. Why? Because, hey, we all have life, man. Yep. And we all sprang forth from what? The water. The water. Yep. You know, it wasn't no, hey, it wasn't just Adam and Eve, man. Mm -hmm. Adam and Eve, hey, were not the only souls upon 
planet Earth during that time. Time, time. All right. However, what separated us was we just basically uh, uh, presented in the, in the image of the Most High. Right. What does that mean? We received the law, statutes, and commandments, which made us sanctified. Yeah, but we made different. Well, okay. This is Galatians chapter 6, verse 15. For in Hamashiach and Hawashai, neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. But a new creature. Hey, hey, so it doesn't matter if you were circumcised in the fore, a foreskin or not, or if you were circumcised in the heart, because the scriptures reference two circumcisions. The physical cir cir circumcision of the, uh, uh, of the penis, when the foreskin is cut, you know, and that was a law of commandment I, uh, after the pact that the Heavenly Father made with um, uh, was it Moses, you know, or was it uh, or was it Abraham when he was ninety nine when he was circumcised? Oh, Abraham. Abraham, mm -hmm. you know, when he was ninety nine years old, he made the he made the pact or, the, or that covenant or that agreement with Abraham, and that was the sign for it, man, mm -hmm. to be circumcised in the foreskin, you know. Hey, but the, the scripture also referenced being circumcised in the heart. Which goes back into your mind, which is that new creature, because now you're renewed and now you're restored and you've been baptized by the word and the spirit of Yahweh Shimon 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 the spirit of the Most High Shimon made me, and the breath of the Almighty had given me life. Shimon 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 not that same nigga that he was in the world. You know, you abide by the laws, statutes, and commandments of you. How about Shadow Shock? You're missing your day. So you're pretty much a new creature. Right. Job 12 and 10. In whose hand is the soul of every living thing. You know what? I started dying. Job 12 and 9. Who knoweth not in all these that the hand of the Lord Yahweh have brought them? In whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind? That right. breath is down to the spirit. Yeah. You know? yep. hey, because, because without the spirit, you have, you have about shit, you have a shot, man. You're pretty much dead. That's why hey, the scriptures talk about that valley of dry bones, man. And they ask, can these bones live? Because they were actually physically living, mm -hmm. you know, but they didn't have that birth of life, which is that understanding. Right, right. So what Ezekiel saw was like little oozy, little pumps. You know, bombs and stuff within our nation, man. Like I said, what separates us right now from uh, uh, the two thirds, man, is the Holy Spirit, man. Right? That's what makes us and chosen within the chosen will willing if we are the hope of the elect, man. Right. 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 Scripture college, you know, will willing to be part of the hope of the elect. That light, man, or that salt. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He said that we're rich. That's right. Uh, and we're rich out because because we got the, the, the true riches. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, because wisdom and knowledge understand is better than gold, it's better than a beautiful woman, it's better than riches and a glamorous life. Hey, because because to, to, to be mentally unstable, you, you, might, you might as well be, be poor. Hey, because you can't do anything with the physical riches if you were mentally unstable. Somebody will have to, 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 to manage it for you. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're a mushroom or if you're a vegetable, you know, what, what good is life? Because it, that's a cursed life. Mm -hmm. How can you enjoy things? You got somebody wipe you, wipe your own derriere, you know? No? Thank you, Lord. Y'all hear something else? Yeah. All right, go ahead. All right, Matthew 5 and 14, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. You know? And what would you do with a candlestick? You want to hide a candlestick under the bed? Then you uplift it. You will put it upon, hey, all watchtowers are work. Lifted up in high elevation places to be seen from, from great distances, man. And the most sized prophets are out there being a light unto the world and, and, and they're being seen from near and far. We just saw a video from uh, last week that uploaded by brothers in Peru. Explain that. How did that happen? How are these brothers in Peru speaking no English, speaking nothing but Espanol, calling upon the names of Yahweh Shimmy Hawa Shah? Who, who went there and told them that? Where did they get that message of, of salvation from? Man? Where did they get the Esau Edom is a so-called white man? Where did they get Babylon the Great, which is America, is going to be destroyed by fire, man? And they touched on upon all that, man, in a very short period of time. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 39. Nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us, separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, our Lord. Now, brothers, 
is climbing up. Yeah, no, that's the spirit we brought out here. You know, just pretty much to let you know that uh, the, the love they let have for you, how about you on the shot? It's different than the love that the two thirds have, because they don't have that length, man. Uh -huh. So we open now, and we know the uh, the word, and we understand the prophecies, man. Hey, so so with that, we're going to end it off. We're going to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechah, Kodash. And we'd like to say until next time, Shalom. 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 Shalom.